What I want to do today is to compare the new Intel Core M processor that's found in this Toshiba Z20T to the last generation Intel Core i7 processor that I have here in the Surface Pro 3. I'm just going to do a side-by-side -side test here. Let's boot up the Z20T and also the Surface Pro 3. And I want to see, I'm going to run Photoshop and open up a raw camera file, so a picture that's taken with a digital camera in raw, raw mode. And I'm going to compare those side by side. Alright, for the sake of comparison, we're going to open the same file in Photoshop. Let's go. Of course, the first time we log into Photoshop, it's going to be a little bit slower than a normal opening would, a file opening would, but this will give us a good demonstration of the processing performance. Okay, there we go, ready to edit. If I change the exposure or the contrast, you'll see very quickly that the Core M is quite responsive to changes there. And also comparing to the surface, which is of course responsive. What I'm looking to see here is how different the experience is of using the Core M processor in real life compared to the Core i7 or i5 series in the previous generation of tablets. The key difference here is that the Core M processor is designed to conserve power and to give you maximum battery life. So that is a benefit. However, in order to achieve that, they do have to sacrifice some performance. And that's what you'll be able to see here in some ways in this comparison test. In some ways, the new Core M processor will perform a little bit better. In others, it won't perform quite as well.